Welcome back, friends. I'm often asked about advice on sales. The hard thing about selling is that you shouldn't sell too hard. Essentially, you have to sell without selling. In other words, do something without doing it. But how is that possible? A couple years ago, I read a book that most people haven't heard about. It's not a bestseller, but it changed my perspective on sales and business relationships forever. In this video, you're gonna learn how to turn clients into friends, provide value and make money. Personally, I divide sales into two categories, transactional sales and relationship sales. Transactional is when you buy, let's say, a pair of sneakers on Amazon and you don't care who the seller is. The sneakers will be identical no matter who you buy them from. On the other hand, relationship sales are sales that require trust. In fact, even the word sales feels somewhat out of place here because it has the connotation of peddling. Relationship sales is when both the supplier and the client maintain a long-term perspective and see the business cooperation as a mutually beneficial partnership that should be ongoing. The wonder about this book is that it's a story of a person who did the seemingly impossible. He turned transactions into relationships. Mind you, most books on sales are written by people who never did anything useful in their lives. I hate this kind of stuff. This guy, however, was not a coach that went around teaching people about something he couldn't do himself. In fact, this guy is so real that he is even the world's greatest salesman according to Guinness Book of World Records. And he didn't write any books or courses until very, very late into his career. What's interesting is that he wasn't an entrepreneur, he never had his own company, always worked for someone. But he was so good at sales that he didn't even need to start his own business. The name of the guy was Joe Girard. Picture this. The guy is 35, failed at multiple businesses, has a family to feed, and feels like a complete failure in life. He feels like he's behind, he feels unaccomplished, he feels like he disappointed everyone around him and himself first and foremost. One day, at the height of his misery, he walks into a car dealership and begs the manager to give him a job. He promises that he wouldn't take any walk-in customers from other salespeople. He sells a car the same day. The very first day on the job. And then gradually, he starts doing his thing. He starts turning potential clients into friends. That's what a client should be, your friend. They shouldn't feel like you're pestering. They should feel like you're acting with their best interests in mind and that both of you are getting the better end of the deal, which is possible. Here is a quote from George Gerard. I did it by believing that both the buyer and the seller should walk away from a sales close feeling good about the transaction. Selling is an ongoing process. If you handle it professionally and honestly, a sale will earn you more than your customer's money. You will get their friendship and future business as well. I know what you're thinking right now. Cars are the same everywhere, aren't they? Whatever car dealership or what salesman you choose, what difference does it make? The makes and models of cars are determined by the manufacturer, right? Well, that's the wonder about this man. He made the difference. He made it so people would walk in and ask for his name, even though the cars were obviously the same. He provided his clients with such care before, during, and most importantly, after the sale, that when they thought about buying a car, they had no one but him in mind. In his own words, there is nothing more effective in selling anything than getting the customer to believe, really believe that you like him and care about him. Here are my takeaways from his book. Word of mouth is the best business engine. No matter how good your marketing is, nothing comes close to growing your business as a result of people recommending your product or service to each other. Keep in touch. George Gerard sent Christmas cards, birthday greetings, remembered names of wives and husbands, and talked to his clients and potential clients on a regular basis outside of business transactions. He maintained the relationship. Let people know what you do. They will not guess. I personally closed good deals because I met someone randomly at a bar or sat next to someone on a plane. Don't be too serious. Have a drink with your client, smoke a cigarette, get in touch on a personal level to build trust. Don't wear a suit if your clients don't. 
don't make it more official than it needs to be. The sale is only the start of the relationship. Problems will arise, nothing ever goes perfectly. But show your clients that you're handling these problems well and they will see you as a trusted business partner. Your clients are people. Even if you're selling what many other people are selling, this still holds true. For example, when I bought the lighting setup for my YouTube channel, I did it in a small shop. The owner spent hours with me on the phone and gave me like 10 options to take home to try and return whenever I feel like. When I need something now, I will definitely go to that specific shop and most importantly, I will not even compare prices. This guy did something that astonishes me to this day, frankly. He turned almost the most unpersonal sales you can think of into ongoing relationships. In your life, can you think of people who run their businesses the way this guy did? Please let me know in the comments down below and see you in my next video.